Hello everyone and welcome to Talking Amateurs, the place for your amateur football fix on the internet. I'm Kim Morgan from Messenger Community News and joining me as they always do are Peter Thatcher from RPH and Messenger's own Gordon Armstrong. Thanks Gentlemen, Kim. how are you? Very well, thank you. Alright, Cambo, yeah, pretty good, thanks. Bigger result on the weekend, was it Shocks or was it uh, Broadview's huge win over Henley? Oh look, Kim, I tip shock, so that was an, a, uh, an upset for me, of course, and I'll, uh, I'll claim that one because I've had some uh, shockers myself uh, so far this year, but definitely for me the big result was, was Broadview. Um, just a, a terrific result there over Henley. Gordo, uh, just an amazing result, really. Yeah, I, I'll go for both those, but I think shock's uh, winning margin away from home, that was uh, yeah, a little bit of a surprise. Yes, yeah, yeah, good yeah. effort, yeah. yeah. Um, and Broadview winning at, uh, the, at home in the second half was very good too. Now, the other results, Titra Gully continue to, uh, to slide, boys, five losses in a row now, a nine-goal loss to Jeff's Cross. They have got a lot of injuries, but they're in a lot of trouble. Payneham Norwood Union, again competitive, but no, uh, no win yet against Gazer, a five-goal loss there. And the other result, Goodwood Saints just did it pretty comfortably over Port mm. Districts by about seven goals. With uh, PNU, uh, Kimbo, led again at half-time, they just can't seem to run out a, a strong game. And uh, the... Um the game with uh, with Chips Cross that was another big score by the Rams. They they've been winning well and they're kicking big scores too. Yeah, their winning margins, Peter. The Rams have been eighty points, fifty four points, and fifty four points. So when they win, they win big. Yeah, they do. They're a very uh, very attacking side, Kim, and uh, they've uh, had some uh, quite uh, sizable results like that. And I look forward to uh, this week. I know that we. Uh, haven't quite got the previous this week, but I reckon the game of the round coming up, Jets Cross and Broadview are the result they had this week. And what does that do to our ladder, Peter, the uh, weekend results? Yeah, look, Goody Saints uh, stayed on top, and, uh, and Henley and Salisbury North uh, pick up that round, or round off the top three, I should say. Gazer and Sacred Heart, the top five. Sacred Heart just making a nice run now. They've got a couple of quite winnable games coming up in the next few weeks, so they'll make continue to make a run at it. Uh, Jets Cross, Broadview, uh, just sneaking up the ladder and out of uh, relegation problem there, terrific from Broadview. Tea Tree Gully, on the other hand, dropping back into relegation calculations. I know they've got a lot of problems with injuries, boys, but they're going to have to really pull something out of the Fireport District. And PNU, not looking like they're going to win a game this year, unfortunately. No, looking in a bit of trouble, PNU. I agree. Mm. Looking at this week's games, Gordo, the big game is, for mine, Broadview v Jets Cross. The loser starts to lose a bit of touch with that top five. The winner's right in it. A uh, terrific game on, on paper, and this is going to be a uh, Broadview again. And, uh, and the Tigers were terrific last week in the second half. First half battle to score. I'm going to give a, a little plug to a guy that didn't make the best players. That was Scott Lee, the playing coach for Broadview. Won't put himself in being the playing coach, but he was terrific in the first half. How are you, Timmy? Going to go for Broadview again, I think. No, I'm going to stick with Jeps Cross. Uh, look, fantastic result to, from Broadview, taking nothing away from them, but I think Jeps Cross just in this one. I will tip Broadview as well, just for a bit of point of difference. Henley Thank v you. Tea Tree Gully, Peter, hard to make a case for Tea Tree Gully with all their injuries. It is at the moment. Uh, Kim and uh, particularly Henley will be uh, looking to bounce back from that uh, quite surprising loss last week and would think that Henley would have uh, too much firepower at the moment. Can't disagree with you. Yeah, I'd like to give a case for, uh, for the Gullies, but um, after last week, um, you're right, Henley would be smarting after that loss. Um, led all day by, by the last quarter and the Sharks would be winning this by about six goals. Top v bottom at Payneham Oval. Anyone uh, tipping the upset of the season with PNU against Goodwood? Kim, I stuck my neck out last week and tipped PNU, and um, I'm going to put it straight back in again and stick with Goodwood Saints in this game. Can't see PNU. As Gordo said, can't play out four quarters of football. They have been very, very competitive in some games this year, but unfortunately, just can't get a go for four quarters, which you did one, as we all know, you must be able to. I'll keep my head under the trenches as well and tip Goody. Yeah, you'd have to look, you couldn't argue a case for PNU. The Saints, uh, it might be close for a half, but the second half, the Saints uh, will just run uh, run rabbit uh, havoc um, over the top and I think uh, eight goals. Yeah, tend to agree. Huge game at large reserve as well. Shocks on a four-game mm. streak. Port Districts just needing some wins to stay in touch. Yeah, won't get it this week, Kim. Shocks, uh, uh, you know, I've been on for a few weeks and uh, the draw will just open up nicely for them now. They've had um, a terrific result last week. The draw will open up nicely for them and they'll make a nice run of the top three. Yeah, arguably the form side with a 10-goal win over Salisbury North, shocks to mine. Can I ask you guys, is the bandwagon big enough for Gordo to hop on? Yep. The shock bandwagon. Okay. Jump aboard. I haven't been on all year, so I'm sorry Paul Sandico probably watching the year that playing the, the coach of shocks. I'm going to go for shocks for probably the first time this year, so yep. about four goals. Just, just before we let you go, Gordo, mm. your tip on the gaze of Salisbury North game, and I have to say compliments on your tie this week. Yeah, that's so uh, well, it's pretty, pretty bland, but um, anyway, I thought I'd just bounce back after last week's debacle, but uh, Gaze and Salisbury North, I think the Eagles uh, might just carry on. 
I'll go for Salisbury North. Salisbury North to bounce back, Ken. Thanks, everyone.